Hello everyone. I am Habyas Kes. We are an agritech startup representing Entrepreneurship Development Institute of India, Ahmedabad. We have developed a portable, battery-operated, and handheld agricultural device for harvesting coffee. This device helps in selective harvesting of ripened fruits from the unevenly ripened plants. This coffee harvester has been indigenously designed, making it suitable for operations in both Arabica and Robusta variety. In India, coffee is harvested 100% manually. and this is when farmers started expressing their problem of shortage of labor and the pain they used to get in their wrist after harvesting coffee because of this product coffee estate owners can save around 40% of their time also fetch higher price for their produce because of selectively harvesting their ripened fruits the product that you seeing in the video is a prototype of the first indigenously developed coffee harvester it also helps women laborers from the wrist pain problem that they are facing currently we would like to thank idii ahmedabad aicd all the ministries and especially government of india for recognizing us and supporting us in solving one of the most pressing problem of indian coffee growers india is among top 10 leading coffee production countries and is known for its best quality in international market Coffee is grown in slopy and hilly regions of Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu and some parts of Andhra Pradesh and Orissa where heavy machineries for harvesting cannot be used. To address this issue, a coffee harvesting hand operated tool, Coffer was developed by the Havas KS and Nitin Singh. This is an indigenous design tool to function in both Indian variety and Indian condition. So to talk more about it, in today's edition of Change Maker, we have with us Havas and nitin singh welcome havias and nitin thank you sir karnataka is the largest producer accounting for about 70% of the total coffee production in india what inspired you to work for the coffee harvester havias what was the driving force to create such an innovation so uh, basically sir uh, all this happened during lockdown i come from a place called tour kodugu in karnataka So during lockdown, I and Nitin we were posting our MBA in India, Ahmedabad, and suddenly we have to come back to our native. Uh, so when I came back here, uh, like you know, like we have to stay in a confined place. So uh, that's where we started going to our relatives' home and participating in their you know farming activities. So all my family relatives are from uh, farming background. Basically, every one ninety percent of them grow coffee only. So during coffee, that was the period of coffee harvesting also. So we started involving their uh, activities in all the day-to-day -day activities, and uh, when the coffee harvesting was taking place, we started participating with that as well. Uh, what happened during that time was there was severe labor shortage. So uh, most of the laborers in Karnataka they come from uh, northeast region actually, and during lockdown everyone migrated back to their native. There was huge labor shortage, and uh, even otherwise also there was a huge labor shortage, and labor shortage was expensive. So farmers were not able to pay the uh cost of laborers so this is the major problem they used to face apart from that uh, most of the laborers who work in the farm are women laborers so they have to participate in coffee harvesting activity regularly uh so when they do that they, this is a short har harvesting span actually so in a year uh, coffee will be uh, harvested from november to january in that three months sp time span they have, you have to harvest complete all the coffee so it continues every day they do work and this labor has to work With the non-stop of three months, so when they used to harvest regularly, they used to get this wrist pain, sir, because non-stop they are working in field. So all this problem we got to know when we were involved with their farming activities. Uh, then we realized everything is uh, now mechanized in our country. You go for any other industry, but why not uh, farming? Why is our farming still uh, lying backward in terms of technology adoption or technology dissemination? So we thought, okay, he Nitin is basically from mechanical background. Uh, and i come from agriculture background so i had no uh, what to say technical skills so i approached nitin nitin i have come across such problem uh, which is in my native uh, can you please help me with your uh, knowledge and skills from mechanical so that we can build some solution uh, to help indian farmers uh, he readily accepted he was very happy when i initially told him this is the case uh, we both from next day started working on this we tried to do all the research and this how the journey started sir great uh it's it's a very important to work for the indian farmers so nitin what are the problem that you are trying to solve or address through your innovation and how is your innovation different or unique from the others so 
on the extension what Havaya said just now. So the problem of coffee or coffee harvesting is very unique in India. So if you compare it with other major producers in the world, so one is Brazil, one is, another is Colombia. So they have huge, huge coffee estate, but their land formation is very planar. So they can use big, big machines to uh, harvest coffee at once, even for 100 acres, 200 acres. But the problem in India comes in when this coffee estates are in hilly, hilly terrains. So in that terrain, we can't use those big machineries to harvest coffee at once. Apart from this, even if there, if there are small tool, tools were available, which were manufactured in China and Taiwan and other countries, so these actually have a tendency to damage plants as well. So the leaves, leaf, leaf foliage was very high. So we had to understand the challenge exactly and that the challenge was very unique. And in terms of that, we had to have, we had to take consideration of women laborers as well. The labor shortage was directly linked to those laborers being women laborers and, and, and women facing shoulder pains. So that meant that this activity is very tedious. So how to solve this activity? Can we bring down the time? Can we bring down the labor involvement in this activity? So that is how we decided we should go for a handled, handled device, a hand operated device, which can you know, increase the efficiency of these laborers and bring down the time and cost of the coffee harvesting activity. So that is how we tried to innovate in this particular technology. Uh, Havis, can you please demonstrate the product for the viewers to make it understand better? Yeah, absolutely. Sir. So this is the copper device that we have developed. So what you can see in the bottom is the battery and uh, it is actually movable. Uh, so this is the main device uh, where farmer will be holding it this way here and you keep it in the plants. So uh, when power, this will start vibrating. So that vibration, when it transforms, transfers from the device to the plant, so all the ripened fruits at certain stage will fall down and the unripened fruit will be there in the plants only. So that we can do selective harvesting. So uh, how does this work is what we have done is basically we have used uh, modern technology like uh, 3D printing and all those things to make the device much like very much uh, uh, user friendly and all the farm graded ergonomics has been considered. So this is the body and uh, we have a head part here. So in head we have a mechanism where this will convert the movement, uh, the motor movement into a vibration. So that is what we have done in this uh, and uh, the battery is actually connected to the base. Uh, the major, this is the, the, right now this is working. So if you, this principle works, if you go and put it in a field, the plant has been, uh, the main principle has been working properly. The, but the problem, what we have uh, realized after doing this is like this machine is heavy. Farmers are harvesting the crop from uh, uh, morning 8 a.m. till 4.30, 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. in the evening. So they have to work uh, using this device in at least eight to nine hours a day. Uh, holding such heavy device uh, is a difficult uh, task again. So right now the feedback what we are receiving is to make the uh, device much more lighter. Uh, we are working on it. So this is a very big challenge where we have to convert the traditional uh, you know, phones into a smartphone thing. So a lot of innovation has to go in, uh, inside this. Uh, we are trying to figure out all the latest technologies or more innovations that can help us build our innovation. So this is how the things are uh, built right now. So and how this works, there's a uh, powering system. So once you power and connect the main device to this, you also have a frequency controller here. Uh, frequency, I'm sorry, RPM controller. So you can uh, adjust the RPM. So according to the RPM requirement of the plant, you can harvest the ripened fruit, semi-ripened fruit. If you want to harvest all the fruits, irrespective of ripen or unripen, you can also do that. Nice. So, so basically you are working with farmers and you know that especially in, uh, uh, you know, especially with the coffee uh, harvesters. So what was their first re reaction when you started working with them and how they are acknowledging importance of your innovation right now? So before starting this work, what we initially did is we went and interviewed around 60 farmers uh, to ask like how, how the entire activity takes place, what are the major problems? Uh, how do you like to solve it? If you, if you solve this problem, are you ready to pay for that solution so that uh, this business also becomes like sustainable? So all this kind of research we did. And when we actually told them, okay, this is the kind of innovation that we want to do, they themselves gave us how the product should be. So basically, as they told it, uh, coffee is grown in hilly and, hilly and slopey terrains. So they told, okay, taking tractors or big machine is not, at, not possible over there. So we, there are machines in other countries where big tractors will move, move within the coffee plants. So we got to know, okay, that is not an option for Indian uh, coffee region. 
second they told uh, they wanted some uh, electric uh, machine because uh, there is no like coffee is grown in between shade trees shade trees means there are forest trees and in between coffee coffee plants are planted in indian condition in indian traditional uh, region but if you compare it to foreign countries there is grown in open field there won't be any trees in between so it is easy to go and operate any kind of machine but here they wanted electric and hand hand operated machine so that it is easy to take the machine and if uh, so that uh, the machine is lighter and they can operate it easily in the coffee estate so these are the kind of feedback they gave us uh, and taking their re- feature requirement we worked on the principles so in what principle the foreign country machines the big uh, tractors of uh, the big devices are working on we just took the principle but we brought it in a small device so i'll just show you the device so this is the kind of device that we have built right now so this uh, works on a vibratory principle so if we switch it on it will start vibrating uh, this when this vibrates this will transfer the frequency so that it will de- uh, it will split the uh, ripe fruits down so that uh, ripe fruits can be collected and uh, put in a basket great so uh, qual- ensuring quality is also very important so how do you ensure that your product meets quality standards and how cost effective it is for the farmers uh, nitin okay so in terms of quality our main challenge first was to make a device which even if you are making a handheld device it should not again lead to the same problem of shoulder pains so right now we have a challenge we are facing is we have designed the machine but after two or three alteration we are still facing a little bit of problem where it's still a little heavier so we need to have a some kind of uh, innovation or design change in battery so standard comes in second but we also have to ensure first that laborers who are using it first have to get accustomed to it and the problem which we are trying to solve should not exist after that so based on that we are still in the design improvement of the design then once that design is done we will be having uh, standards going on so electrical standard we will have battery so bi standard batteries now there are all standard operate, operating uh, standards which we have to take for an electrical device for agriculture machinery device which we will be going in for that so in terms of that we are taking constant feedback from the customers and the users so coffee estate owners and the laborers as well to meet their standards as well as the standards of the market and apart from that if you come to the cost effectiveness of it so right now we as far as our cost of goods sold or the entire production of one machinery is concerned we are taking it as a charge of around 6 to 7000 rupees so we'll be deciding on how what kind of orders we'll be getting once it is ready to go into the market and then based on that we'll be deciding the price of one particular machine thank you thank you so much nitin and uh, ensuring standards uh, not only in terms of quality but also uh, we have to ensure that it's a cost effective for the uh, users so uh, how is you are the proud winner of national innovation contest please share your experience and how the participation in this contest helped you to work on your dream project so uh, as i told you so i told you when we started working on this project so this was during lockdown and this nic was announced during the same time so we were sitting in home we identified there's a problem we both discussed and we have, we have decided there is a solution so we wanted to take it forward so we started applying for all the funding agencies and luckily we got selected in national innovation competition so this was like a hope for us this like initially we both are both were students so we haven't uh, we had not done any job and uh, we don't come from any business background both of our family are from service background we are first generation entrepreneurs so financially we couldn't depend on anyone else we had to do something on ourselves uh, so initially we started with our own little savings whatever we had but in the same time uh, we also got the result result from nic tender you have been selected for funding which gave us hope okay let's do give more time for this particular project work in uh, with complete interest so that's where how we started so that was a real boost for the innovation that we, we had uh, thought of uh, from there the journey started uh, so we started uh, doing our initial design we did multiple uh, uh, prototypes uh, we tested it we, uh, we we started working on other different uh, innovations like the trending innovations for example that device what we have uh, uh, developed is actually 3d printed so we thought of thinking what are the different uh, modern uh, technologies that we can use to fasten the innovation that we are building on so these are the kind of uh, uh, work we started and uh, all this could be all is possible because of the funding and other mentoring support that we received from uh, aictc nic competitions 
Um, Nitin, being an entrepreneur, uh, you have to trade a very challenging path, especially at initial level. So can you tell me the challenges in this journey and how you overcome those? So challenges for us as entrepreneurs were really unique in the sense we were already in, under lockdown. So we didn't have the luxury to you know travel across and go and ask people. So he was here in Kur. I was in Ahmedabad. So our discussion was entirely virtual and it was very difficult for me to understand okay, what exactly is coffee harvesting, what exactly, what, what are the pain points. But in terms of technology, I was trying to understand what exactly is the need there. And apart from that, a uh, very basic problem comes in when you have to understand what kind of funds you'll be needing, what is the kind of mentoring support you'll be needing to you know, achieve your innovation, to take your idea from to, towards the product stage. So those are the kind of challenges we were facing initially and which were somewhat solved by the support of NIC and AICT once we got the funding. Great. So in, in your entrepreneurial journey, Nitin, what was the biggest moment of satisfaction or recognition? So satisfaction and recognition in entrepreneurial journey comes in once you, okay, once someone says that, okay, this is the product which Nitin has designed. This is the product which Avias has brought to the market. So that is where our recognition, that is where our satisfaction comes in. Monetary is something that there is there, obviously, we want, we want to have a monetary recognition as well. But once there is some competition or as there is some, some uh, bigger person taking your name and appreciating you for what kind of innovation and what kind of idea you have brought to, as, to, to a product stage, that is where our satisfaction lies. Great. Uh, and it, it's a very important thing that uh, whatever you are doing, you need to be very, uh, you, you always should feel a sense of satisfaction. Okay. So uh, my next question is, MIC and AICT is not only acknowledging your innovation, uh, but also supporting you with the incubation linkage and uh, funding support. Are you receiving support from the mentors or, or any other sources as well, especially in terms of financial or uh, anything? Uh, obvious? So basically when we started, sir, like, yeah, like we had to take a lot of, you know, advice and uh, technical guidance to start with. So, uh, one of our like, mentors from EDI, it is Dr. Satyananda Acharya. So, he gave us initial uh, business kind of uh, mentorship, like how the product should be, how we can actually convert this innovation into a business. So, he has helped us initially. And for the technical point of view, how the mission works, how to convert this principle, how, what are the behavior of the plants. And as I told you, we wanted to devise, uh, develop a device which is better than the existing players in the market. So, there, there were some companies like and similar to handheld device only, there are a couple of Chinese uh, devices, not in India, but they use in foreign countries. Uh, we can we could have imported that and given to farmers, but they had a problem. So they used to uh, defollate the leaves, like the, the leaves used to fall down and they should break the stems. So what happens, this season will harvest the coffee, but the next year's productivity will go down because of leaf defoliation and stem breakage. So we need to keep that in mind. So how do we, to address all these things, we wanted some technical person from agriculture uh, university only. So since I was, I am alumni from uh, GKK Bangalore, so I started up, I approaching one of the professor there called uh, Dr. Jayashri. She is a pro, uh, professor in uh, uh, mechanical, uh, farm mechanization actually. So she is the professor in farm mechanization department. So we started taking her mentorship. So she helped us initially uh, on all the technical aspects. So taking all this support from as well as from MIC, regularly we used to have an interaction with the entire team. So they used to mentor us uh, and also give us guidance on how to take this project they had. Whenever we had a financial requirement, we used to ask them. Timely EDI has also had released money. So because of all these things, it has helped us take this innovation till this stage. Great. Um, I'm glad to know that you are getting support from the uh, institution and all, uh, also from the mentors. So mm -hmm. being in young and you know, uh, so many young and aspiring entrepreneurs are watching this episode. Any advice to these budding entrepreneurs who are considering to start their own ventures, start their own startup, Nitin? So one kind of advice that I have, I have felt and I have also uh, talked to multiple people who have asked me this, that it's very important to have a product market fit. There are several ideas which you'll get, several innovative ideas, several ideas which you'll feel that market reads, needs right now. But there are times when market is not ready or either you are not ready with your product. So there needs to be a product market fit. And also we have to be financially backed up. Like if 
it's not like you should be rich but you should have a sound idea of what what kind of finance i need and what i can arrange to start off with then proceed with your idea rather than banking on someone to know if they i'll get money from there i'll get money from there and and, and i'll start you have to have some initial assurance to start off then show off what your idea has to do with the market right now and then proceed with very valuable suggestion uh, thank you thank you so much nitin for sharing so what is your next plan uh, how you are seeing your future for this business especially in terms of your startup and especially uh, for, for your project uh, havias so basically sir when we started working on this like we gave some proposal to nic we thought okay if we get this funding this product will be ready we will put it in the market and everything is fine but as we started working we realized no this is not the end this will this this alone It will not solve the problem that we are actually working on. Uh, we have to like after building all this product, we have got so many feedback because once they saw the device, they started giving more feedback than what we got before they saw the device. Taking those innovation and putting them into this device or making this uh, fine tuning this device is a big challenge, and two of us can't do that. So we need a bigger team, and we also need uh, more technical support. So all these things we have realized now. now since we started this okay this is a good start so we even though if we come with this this will be like a prototype for another two or three products that will be building because uh, putting it in a field and making it work seamlessly it needs you know like improvisation that improvisation will happen over a period of time so right now our vision is to like whatever is possible to build will be building right now and giving it to farmers for their feedback and usage and to understand what are the things that can be modified and we have a plan to improvise it again one of the challenge we have is this can be done only once in a year because coffee harvesting season comes once in a year so from november to january whatever testing everything we have to do we have to do in that period and the rest of the period it's only the back end innovation that we can work on so we have to test it for two more years and improvise it and improvise it and we want to make it such a uh, product so it is not it won't be used not just in india but it has we have a vision to export it to other countries or to where they are growing coffee as well and there are many other countries who are growing coffee in similar similar condition to india like which, which is grown in hilly and slopey terrains so we have a market uh, uh, apart from india as well so we are targeting to uh, to build a product so that it is uh, universally accepted so these are the vision right now and the way forward that we are thinking of sir yes and thank you thank you so much havias uh, uh, nitin for joining us and sharing your journey Uh, we wish you all the best and hope your story will inspire many others um, again thank you so much thank you so much for thank sharing you, your you story with us thank you it was a pleasure being with you sir thank you thank you nitin thank you thanks innovators like havias and nitin are changing the trends of our country and are solving long persisting problems we often come across a lot of daily issues but not many of us think of an innovative solution for it unlike them we need young people like this to take our country to great heights so keep innovating to make the world a better place on that note i would like to end today's edition of change makers keep watching namaskar jai hind